I'm Jamie Tardy and you're watching Interview Connections TV. Hey everyone, it's Jessica Rhodes and thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Interview Connections TV. Um, I was really inspired uh, to film an episode today about content marketing and relationship marketing. I am, and like always, I'm gonna keep my eye on Nathan here. Hey Nathan, can you stay over here? Um, I'm starting a podcast and it's called Roads to Success. Um, and if you're slow on the uptake, that's R-H-O-D-E-S, my last name. And I've, I've just been so pumped and so excited to get it started that I've just been taking massive action. And as my coach, Jim Palmer says, you might be going a little too fast, but it's hard for me to keep my, my foot off the gas pedal, you know? It's called Roads to Success and we're working on the tagline and in the tagline there's content and relationship marketing because when I think about how I've grown my business, when I think about how I started a business literally when I was five months pregnant and doubled my revenue in the first six months of my first full year, um, you know, things have just gone incredibly well. I think about the two main things that have helped me grow my business and that is content marketing. Hold on a second. Nathan? So it's content marketing, blogging, putting out videos, um, posting on social media, and it's relationship marketing. And so relationship marketing is just that. It's building relationships, building friendships, building connections with people um, personally so that way you get a lot of referrals in your business. You know, my, my coach, who's my dad, you probably know, um, was telling me, well, we were kind of kind of strategizing on the tagline. Do we need both content and relationship marketing? Are they similar? And I said, no, they're they're different. And here's why. And he was getting me to actually justify it. So it was kind of a good coaching technique on his part. They're very different and here's why. You cannot build relationships just from doing content marketing, okay? So content marketing, you're putting out your blogs, you're putting out your podcasts, you're putting out your videos, but if that's all you're doing, you're not actually building relationships with your audience. You have to be participating in Facebook groups, you have to be interviewing people on your podcast, you have to be going to conferences and talking to people and building relationships because that is how you're going to get referrals in your business, that's how people are gonna start asking you to be on their shows, that's how people are gonna start booking you for speaking gigs, all things that have happened to me just in my very very early one and a half years of being an entrepreneur. So if you are putting out content, doing blogs, um, putting out videos, recording podcasts, don't think that that's just going to build your business. You have to you know, make that extra effort to build relationships with the people that are consuming your content. And Fun fact, today is all about relationship marketing and content marketing. Um, I'm up here in Providence. I live in Warwick, which is just about 20 minutes south of Providence, and we had to come up here for a few errands. My cousin's coming into town, so we're picking her up at the train station a little bit. So I had some time to kill, so I thought coming to a park with Nathan would just be the perfect thing. I could film a video with some cool background. And like I said, fun fact, this is actually where I got married and started one of the most, you know, the most important relationship in my life with my husband, Jamie. So I'll just give you a quick little um, overview of this beautiful park. It overlooks the city of Providence. Did you find some value in today's episode? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Share a comment below if you're watching this on Facebook or in the show notes section at interviewconnections.tv. Share it with your friends, build relationships, talk about it, and you will see your business grow. So everyone have a great, productive week. Do lots of interviews, and I will talk to you next Tuesday.